Hello and welcome to another No Man's View Guide. Today I'm going to be making some bread. You're going to need two 7 inch cake tins, one pound of self raising flour, that's all purpose flour, two ounces of caster sugar, that's not granulated, that's the finer one, and not the icing sugar either, a full pint of milk, and a teaspoon of salt. Notice there's no yeast at all. So let's just, um, we're not going to faff about, I'm not going to faff about, I hate faffing about. I'm just going to get on with it and I'm going to show you what to do. There's my flour. In goes my sugar, in goes my salt, give it a quick mix, make a nice little well in the middle and add my milk. And then mix all that up into a nice fine dough. Might take me a minute. I have never made this before. This was something that um, my gran used to make uh, during the war. I have no recipe for it. Um, I just know that this is the ingredients. Um, I do know that my sister used to make this when she was alive, but um, she sort of passed down the recipe uh, in her cookbook, which she handwritten. Now, my sister was like myself. She didn't use recipe books. She used to make all her own. It was word of mouth, and she wrote everything down, which I'm grateful for, because I don't use her recipe books either. The only thing I use her recipe books for is temperatures for the cooker because my new cooker is um, it's centigrade. Now for this particular item you're going to need excuse me while I get a whisk your cooker needs to be on 180 if you've got Fahrenheit or 350 if you're 70 if you're Fahrenheit and it's gas mark 7. Um, Baking the oven approximately for an hour until it's nice and golden brown and that's basically your lot. No, I haven't got them. Oh well. Right. Oh, this is going to be uh, hard work. I don't have an electric mixer, so. No, that's no good. I'll have to hand mix it. As you can see, he's making like a pancake batter. Now, I don't know if you, you can buy milk roll. I know you Brits, you Brits can make, um, you can buy milk roll. But I don't know about you Americans or Canadians. I really don't. I don't know if you can get milk bread. But that's now almost smooth. I don't know if you can see that. That's quite a smooth butter actually. The funniest looking bread I've ever seen. But 
we learn, don't we? And let's face it, you know, we all learn together. That's a lovely looking batter. It's like pancake batter. Right. That batter's now done. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fill my two trays. That's only taken me a couple of minutes. Now, if I turn the camera around there, like that, you should be able to see. Now, I'm not going to go mad with this because like I said I have never made this before so this is a first for me and it's probably a first for you as well and if you've never seen my channel before I don't make a great deal of bread I like to make pies which is um, it's more my style anyway I'm not going to faff about, I'm not going to mess around at all, I'm just going to pour this in. Now just pour it until it's basically level and that's all you need to do. And you should, if you've got little cake tins like mine, you should get two tins out of this. I'm not going to... Um, I'm not going to go mad on it, you know. Like I said, I'm not a lover of bread. But I felt it was something I needed to um, I needed to cover. But I have got a few things in the line on the pipeline. Um, I've got a lasagna coming up this week. I have also got um, a shepherd's pie coming up this week. Right, I'm just going to get a spoon to. Uh, Get the rest of this batter out. And there we have it. Right, that is one hour in the oven. Um, like I said, 350 to uh, 375. Our gas mat, four to five, about an hour. That's approximately 180 centigrade. And I reckon you should be right. We shall see. I shall post some photographs on Facebook. Um, if you're on my friends list, you'll be able to see these. Most of you who subscribe to my channel, um, you already are on my friends list. So anyway, wish me luck. Have fun. Catch you later. Bye for now.